Hello everyone, welcome back to Puzzleron Plays Demon's Crest, very surprised I haven't called this Demon Souls at this point. Uh, on to stage six, I believe it's ice themed. Yeah, now this is where, oh, we have slippery ground too. Great. Yeah, this is where my memory of these stages, I think, is, is done. I do not even remember the theme of this stage, never mind the layout of it, so. This should be interesting. Two talismans left. There's actually a big gap in the talismans there. Oh, can we not climb these walls? No, we can't. We just slide. Uh, this might be where I need the claw, actually. No, you can do it without. It's just a little sketchy. Uh, these enemies have a ton of health, too. Holy cow. I am already not a fan of this level. At all. That is spikes. Back. Yeah, I think you're basically... Oh, man. I'm being stubborn, because I know you can do it without, but you're pretty much intended to use claw on those. That's really might be the only use for it. Although, I, I feel like it might be useful in like the final battle as well, now that I'm thinking about it. Hopefully that's the last of this outdoor ice shenan... Haha, <laughs> it certainly isn't. And I'm breaking these uh, clusters as well, because I'm not sure if maybe one of them is going to have um, a power-up in it. Sometimes they just hide them in plain sight, so... Well, I don't think I can break this one. So this would be a good chance to use Claw. Yeah. There we go. And you can use it just to attack, it's just not very powerful, and it can't, uh, can't break those guys' armor. This whole area is just crawling with enemies. I feel like there might be something up, if I just, like, let myself fly all the way up to the top. Either that, or you could just literally skip this whole area. That was a full health pickup. I will take that. Uh, well, there's definitely something up there. But let's try down here first, just to see. Maybe you're a, a power-up of some sort? Yeah, there we go. So there is, I believe, the last vellum. Yep. So that takes care of that. Um, boss time. Oh. Alright. Uh, well, I want to deal with this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that all about? It's green. Maybe I can't use... No, it just always turns green. I guess that's like an immunity. Man, this is... This is nasty. Uh, I don't really... Well, maybe I can hold. Oh, that certainly doesn't work. I mean, I could probably do this. Oh, except, uh, that happens. I wonder where this is gonna put me. If it puts me, um... Yeah, what I can just do is... Just fly right over all of this. I mean, probably the ground gargoyle does the most damage there. Just a matter of, um, can I dodge well enough to do that? I'm not really sure. The, uh, the slidey... Oh, man. No, this is definitely not the way to do this. 
No, I'm going to have to use something else. Um, hmm. I... Man. At least there's a relatively easy way to get there, because having to do this whole section all over again every time would be a huge pain. Also, basically, this is where the game starts being pretty damn challenging. Though I get the feeling a lot of people never even got this far. Um, is he vulnerable to the... If he's vulnerable to this, this would be ideal, but I don't think he is. No, he's not at all. It sucks to have to go through all this trial and error with it, but... Oh, right, there's no actual wall. Oh, man, there's no wall for me there. Just for him. If, uh, if I die a bunch more, I'll make a jump cut. Let's see. Ah. Kind of just gotta lure these guys. Because so once they aggro, they get. They kind of go into that wave pattern. It's not gonna be Claw, so I guess we just use Buster. Um. There's something I'm I'm missing here. I'm not entirely sure. This seems ludicrously difficult. Especially if we can only get like that one hit off every time. You also need to be careful because if you're off the top of the screen, uh, you can't start your hover. Which is actually what just happened there. Ah. So I'm gonna need to jump. Oh man. my last herb. Why don't you come back over this way? I don't even think he's turned any colors yet either. That's a death. Alright, I am going to make a jump cut here, and I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so I changed the plans. So, uh, basically, what we want to do here is not fight that boss right now, because it will kill us. However, uh, if we come back to the start of this and go all the way up, first of all, there's an earner here, and then we can also fly all the way across here, and we'll actually, oops. Uh, get the entrance to a different area. And we want to go to that area first. As it will have um, a couple of items in it. Hopefully not die on the way there. I did grab a couple of herbs. I didn't do any like crazy farming. I'm actually not sure the best place to farm money, so... It's going to be kind of a pain if I have to end up doing it. But we'll go through this section first. I have no idea what's in here. Other than um, stuff we can use, so find out. I'm assuming that's spikes that hurt. Yep. I don't think I need to use claw here. 
probably actually use air gargoyle and make this a hell of a lot easier on myself, but I'm gonna be stubborn, because that always works out super well. And it is designed that you don't need it, so... I'm assuming I can break these? Why not? There we go. Uh, I don't know... Huh. I can actually break these, too. Anything behind... Ooh. I mean, I I'm not gonna sit here and break all of them, but... What a strange room. What is this? Ah, health pickup. Nice. Okay. I actually only have three of those left in the whole game. Alright, so that's that door. What is behind door number two? Um, okay. I need the ground gargoyle. Yeah, words. Ground gargoyle to get through here. I appreciate it. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Should just switch, but uh, ooh. these are those uh, platforms we previously only saw over the water. Didn't really have to deal with them then. Again, those spikes aren't insta-kill, but these guys are a huge pain, though. Lost time? Yeah, okay. Whoa! Oh, this thing again! I don't remember what I used to beat this last time. I almost feel like it was Brown Gargoyle, was it? it seems kind of crazy because it's the way it is, but. This enemy is definitely the perfect example of the fact that uh, you are mobile but very slow. This guy is super fast. Also, we got a little bit of slidey feet going on here. Oh, did I end up using the air gargoyle for this? I think I did. Uh, I really don't want to do this area over if I can avoid it, so... That lovely fluttering sound. I'm probably gonna throw his, uh... Oop. Oh, that actually killed me! Aw, oh, man. Maybe I should try... Oh, God, what did I use on this last time? Try Air Gargoyle, I guess. Uh, and see. This is, uh, an episode of many, many boss, boss deaths here. Unfortunately, I have to go through this song and dance every time. Yeah, this does work, huh? Maybe this is what I used. I can at least get out of the way a little easier. To a small extent. The problem is that um, I can't hit him when he's low. Oh, there. 
Being able to fire two of these at once gives me a little more coverage. Oh, I forgot you can actually stand on him, too. I actually take, be taking less damage from him as well as the air guard? Oh, maybe not. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna herb here. Boy, I hope I get this this time because... I really don't like the idea of having to farm up a whole bunch of money. It is also really difficult to translate into video, um, but the, the floor being icy is actually a huge problem. Uh, really messes with your jump mode. Okay, he's turned colors now. There are a lot of colors now. Oh, please just kill this thing. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, it would be nice if he gave me a health power up, for sure. I'm not holding my breath. Well, I mean, he gave me a... A health refill? That's kind of nice. Uh, I think we have to use regular demon fire in here. No? Ooh. Wow, I don't remember this area at all. Like, not even remotely. This is kind of crazy. Uh, ooh. Crazy black ooze stuff. Do I need to use the, uh, air gargoyle here? I guess so. <laughs> Alright, can't do anything with that. A lot of switching is gonna be happening here, I think. These bats are going to be a problem. Oh, no, okay, that scares them away. I don't want to get low enough that the hands are going to grab me either. Oh, we got out of there. I feel like there's probably an item in there that I missed. Oh, hey, it's General Arma. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Looks a little pointier, doesn't he? It's our final meeting. You shall go no further. Destroy or die trying. Let's go with option two, please. Assuming he's gonna fight the exact same way. Oh no, he's gonna do this again too, though. It's actually not that dangerous, all things considered. I'm assuming he's got a ton of health, though. Pink shots here now. I don't know if that's indicative of more damage or. I was getting caught in that was bad for business. Oh, I'm hitting him a lot. I don't... Oh, I have no. You know what? This is gonna use up all my money, but. Um, I'm gonna be in for a tough time if I have to fight him again. Of course, it would help if the imp actually attacks. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. That imp is totally not attacking him at all. That is unfortunate. Uh, wow, he does a lot of damage. I am actually going to die the next time I get hit. That is unfortunate. Uh, oh, I oh, didn't get the glide off in time. All right, we'll try this one more time. I think at this point, it might be one of those things where I just jump cut to a dead boss, um, because you've seen this fight three times now. It's not really any different. But she knew if he had a weakness. So much damage. I feel
feel like um, there's another power up in that dark room that I missed that would probably help on this, but I don't know what it is. Or if there is anything, but I get the feeling there probably was. I know there's a talisman that reduces the damage you take, um, and that would be super useful for this. He's just such a damage sponge. Oh. It was just too low to dodge, but too high to jump over. Oh, he's still getting pulled. Only got two hits left. Me, not him, unfortunately. I wish he only had two hits left. Come on, buddy, just die. Had enough of your shenanigans. This is... oh! There we go. Oh no! Okay. Isn't, oh, I'm gonna die here. I don't think there's anything to do about this. Oh, nope, made it. The, uh, if it's not clear, oh man, that was a hell of a maneuver. Uh, if it's not clear here, the, the floor is slidey in here as well, making this a little dicey. Oh my god, you need to just die, dude. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> oh boy. I guess I will... I can't go back. I wonder if I can, um... Jeez, I don't know. I'm gonna fight him one more time. This might be a non-progress episode. I almost never do that with retro games. We're getting information, but... I mean, I know, I kind of know how to dodge most of his attacks at this point. That's the tricky one, though. Um, not being able to get out of the way. I think the only way I can get out of the way of that is if I air gargoyle swapped, like, immediately, and then flew. Oh, he's gonna kill me. You know what, I might as well find out. Well, that... Alright, he is actually vulnerable to that, which means this might be the better option. Most enemies are not. Because then I could fly up. Maybe I'll do one more attempt using Air Gargoyle exclusively for this. Because this won't uh, pull me in either. Yeah, that attack is crazy. It's so weird that he hadn't done that before. Maybe it's a health level thing. Like, maybe once he's at 50% health or something, he starts chucking those out there. Alright, let's do one more attempt like that. Uh, let's see. Sorry about that. Just had to check something there. Alright. This is going to be a hell of a long episode. So if that is in fact a, um, a health level thing, I feel kind of good in knowing that we're at least getting somewhere. He does go off the top of the screen though, it's kind of funny. I need to let him come down a bit, I think. There we go. And at least he can't uh, trap me with that. I would love to see him start turning colors, though, so I have some sort of indication that I'm actually killing him. Oh, 
thought that was gonna get him. Okay, well that that at least is a good sign, because I'm pretty sure that is a sign that he is hurt. Because now he's just angry. Shots come out very quickly too. Tried to fake me out there. Oh, can I actually cut down those shots with, uh... Oh, thank god. Holy cow. You possess incredible power. Power is now yours. Let me seal it within this crest. Thanks, pal. Crest of time. Oh, now gargoyle on your skin shall become like iron, increase damage done to you by half. Oh, this is a legendary gargoyle. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Uh, I will show that off briefly because this is actually pretty cool looking if I recall. And um, the guy uh, in town here will actually say something different. I think we had gone through that, but just to show that off again. Oh, you can swim? Does it say there are treasures under the sea? Maybe you can find them. I think he says something for every single one. Look like a good flyer. Oh yeah, we did that one before. Um, General was wearing a uniform, something like yours. I saw him run and break one of those fountains into pieces once. Can we actually break this one? Oh, we can. That's actually really fine. Did not know that. You're dead. You can't be that red demon. Please don't kill me. So this is the legendary gargoyle. Uh, you can see it's got different fire as well. I believe it can use... Can it? No, it, but it might be able to break blocks as it is. Check that out here. I think it headbutts as well. Yeah, but it can, it can break the blocks. So it's basically just a, a much better version of Firebrand. Uh, but yeah, so that'll do it for now, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon.